Hey everybody, and welcome back to another movie review with Jess. Today's review is for the movie Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. Today's movie is Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. It's a 2015 horror comedy movie that's directed and co-written by Christopher B. Landon, who actually happens to be the son of Michael Landon, or possibly better known as Little Joe from Bonanza. Some of the movies that he's written have been the Paranormal Activity movies 2 through 5 and Disturbia. He has also directed Burning Palms and Paranormal Activity, the marked ones. The movie stars Ty Sheridan, who's been in The Tree of Life, Mud, and Joe. And then there's Logan Miller, who you may have seen in the Stanford Prison Experiment. Joey Morgan is also one of the main characters, and this is his first feature film. Also Sarah Dumont is in this, and you may remember her from Don John. And last but especially not least is David Kochner, who's been in a lot of movies such as Out Cold, Anchorman The Legend of Ron Burgundy, and Krampus. Just to name a few. Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse is about three Boy Scouts that go on a camping trip, and while they're out, a zombie infestation happens. They don't fully realize this until they leave camp. Using their know-how, they have to fend off zombies and rescue their friends from a secret senior party. Thought the actors did a nice job at portraying their characters, you grow to care for just about each and every one of them. Except I didn't have much love for the dumbass that was oblivious to everything, and pretty much just wanted to get drunk and go to the strip clubs the whole time. We all want to get drunk and go to the strip clubs, but there's a time and place for everything. And the zombie apocalypse is not that time. I thought the cinematography in the movie was good. I liked a particular scene when the kids were weaponing up at the local hardware store. Also during all the chaos, the dumbass scout is taking selfies of himself the whole time, and it's pretty funny to actually see those selfies during the credits at the end. The wide array of zombie effects were good, and some were just hilarious. They also had some really creative, out-of-the-box zombie kills. Too often in horror comedy movies, it seems like right when the action picks up, the comedy is just left in the dust. Fortunately, this movie, it seemed like it had a decent flow throughout. A lot of times in movies, it seems like it's pretty easy to call what's going to happen with all the love interests. This one took me by surprise a little bit, and I was pleased with that. I thought the soundtrack was good for this movie. It featured a lot of popular songs that you've heard over the years. Different styles here and there, but it seemed like they all matched the scenes nicely. When it doesn't match, it just adds to the hilarity. The intro featured one of the best dance scenes that I've seen in a movie in a while, to the tune of Iggy Azalea's Black Widow. The dance was performed by none other than Blake Anderson from Workaholics. I give Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse 4 out of 5 heads of Jess. I thought it was a great movie. It's pretty much one of the best horror comedies that I've seen in a long time. I think that other horror comedies should take a page out of their book. I really hope that there's a sequel. If you haven't seen the movie, I would definitely recommend it. If you like horror comedy movies, then I'd be shocked if you didn't like this movie. If you're big on DIY projects, then you might like this movie. If you can't stand the sight of blood, then you might not be interested in this movie. If you like this review, give it a like and share it with your friends. Also subscribe to the channel so you'll be the first to know of new reviews. What did you think of Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse? Also what's your favorite horror comedy movie? And you know, other than Shaun of the Dead of course. Tell me in the comments below. Also tell me what you think I should watch next and if I haven't seen it, I'll watch it. As always, thanks for watching and this is Jess with Digital Skills signing out.